today's video, we are going to review the Raptor 5 2000W wind turbine with the 40 foot tower combination I installed over a month ago. I will provide you all information about the price, source and the answer to the most important question, if it's worth it. I was asked multiple times in the comment to list the item so you guys are able to purchase it as well but I just wanted to test it first to see how it performs and able to provide all the information that helps you to decide if this micro wind turbine is a good investment for you or not. I must tell you up front, I purchased both the tower and the turbine using my own money. I don't have a contract with this company and I'm not sponsored to make this video. I just want to tell you my honest opinion about the wind turbine and the tower combination. First, let's talk about the tower in a few words. It comes in a 8 inch by 12 inch by 122 inch long wooden crate on a pallet. Even though you pay for shipping, the delivery only is possible to your house if you have a forklift, tractor, or any other equipment with forks that able to unload it from a trailer. The crate is not too heavy, about 440 pounds, but if you can't assist, they will keep it at the closest warehouse and you have to schedule an appointment for pick it up. The parts are marked by sections and with the instructions it is very easy to assemble. I have to mention that the packing does not include any washers. If the hole is over and the bolt is not precision fit, you have to have washers to able to secure the parts properly. I found it easier using a 2x4 on each side to hold up the legs until I attach cross angles and secure them. The package comes with this pulling bar, what you only can attach at one spot on the tower and the company recommends a 3500 pounds rated winch or a 150 to 200 feet clear pad so you can use a larger truck to set up the tower. Let's recap. Make sure you have an equipment to assist to unload. You need a bag of washers to secure the ports properly, a 3500 pounds rated winch or a 150 to 200 feet clear pad and a heavy duty truck. If you have a small tractor like mine, that is not gonna work. And you are doing this project alone, you also need an equipment or a few guys and a 20 foot ladder to lift the tower up to the 30 degree angle. This project also requires a 126 by 126 inch slab that's 6 inch deep. I think I covered everything I wanted about the tower, so now let's talk about the wind turbine. This shipment arrives separately in boxes with all the other ports you ordered. If you buy this pre-wired charge controller, the only one thing needs to be done here to connect the AC wires from the turbine to the brake system, type the values in for a wind track and connect the cables to batteries red to positive black to negative. Assembling the turbine is pretty simple, just make sure you double check everything, especially the blades. If you follow the instructions, you shouldn't have any issues. I was told by the company if I want to track how much energy the turbine generating, I have to install a shunt, but after I ordered it, I found out the charge controller actually has logs where this information is stored, so you don't have to buy anything unless you want to. Now I want to talk about the cost, how many kilowatt hours has been generated since I installed the system, why do you want to consider a wind turbine, and how long does it take this investment to pay off. I purchased the system from Missouri Wind and Solar for $8,442.01 and if you don't need the tower, just the charge controller, wires and the turbine would be $5,278.41. The system was installed on December 28, 2023, just a little bit over a month ago and harnessed 
14.1 kilowatt energy. If I would be connected to the grid, I would pay approximately $1.50 for this 15 kW. If there is no change going to be in wind wise around my area, within a year I will harness 170 kW energy, total cost would be $18. If we calculate this and divide $8442 by 18, that would be 469 with inflation it is about 500 years I have to wait to get my money back. This recording is with 19 miles per hour wind. This turbine's lifespan is about 30 years so this is a fact that wind energy is not for everyone or every location. If you're planning to buy a wind turbine I suggest you to do two things I haven't done. Ask for this wind speed curve and from this document it is obvious that if you want to harness at least 1500 watt energy an hour you need a minimum of 35 miles per hour steady wind. Number two, check your weather channel daily or weekly to see the wind speed. Right now my wind speed is 12 miles per hour and I only was able to harness 500 watt all day. I contacted the sales department mentioning my situation and asked them to fabricate a wind turbine that is able to harness 1500 watt an hour with 12 to 15 miles wind speed but so far there is no answer. I will have the links for the wind turbine just because you asked for it but I also have other links where you can buy brand new solar panels for 25 cents a watt batteries and everything in between on sale. If you would invest 8400 into solar panels and a larger inverter on a sunny day, you could harness 35 to 45 kilowatt a day, not 15 kilowatt a month. If I missed anything or you disagree with any of the things I said, please let me know in the comments. Now I have the tower, I can test different types of windmills, wind turbines, so if you have any better wind turbine that able to harness more energy with lower wind speed, please contact me as well. If you like the content of the video, please subscribe and you will be notified once I release a new one. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.